engineering students. Um, he's working on the integrated learning librarian at Queen's University Engineering and Science Library. His presentation is called, If You Have a Lemon and You Make Good Lemonade, A Devil's Advocate to Library 2.0. So, thank you. Of an engineer, I know what the profession of an engineer does. 
what the profession of librarianship means. When we fight for our position as librarian, and you as a future librarian, especially in our library schools. Okay, we don't share box anymore, that's fine. But what are the guidelines for our profession? We just use technology in Then question. So I, I talk about a David advocate. I'm not, I, I'm not against 2.0, but think about, make consider thinking when you implement this technology, especially in academic library. And we talk about collaboration, participation, <coughs> people talk to each other. How many of you are on Facebook? I ask you this question again. Okay, the average user on Facebook has 120 friends. The new growing group on Facebook are 30 years and older. I'm not sure whether they came in the millennial or this X or whatever. The question is, how many new friends did you make on Facebook? How many new friends? I'm not asking about the people you keep in touch with them. I ask about new friends. Someone you know, some, someone new. How many new friends do you have in Facebook? Hundreds. You have it. I don't know, myself I didn't have. I asked the students for first year students, and actually three out of a classroom of 150 said, I made new friends. I said, no. One told me that mom told him not to talk to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> so think about the idea of participation. You as a librarian, you like to talk, you like to argue. People don't have. Engineers don't like to talk. I work with engineers. <laughs> Library conferences are always based because people just talk and the whole thing can't just them in. They do not talk and they don't talk. They don't care. They all have laptops and do business and do stuff. They don't talk. <laughs> I, I talk about Wikipedia and we talk about this in the larger participatory environments we have now. Wikipedia, the English one, has 8 million, 8.8 million registered users. How, are the, how many of them are active contributors? Hundreds. 8,000 out of the almost 9 million. What does it mean? If you got this percentage on your university, let's say a university has 35,000, I probably get 350 students only who would participate on those online things that we get. In. So when we actually talk about participation, if this participation is not in the context of what they learn in academic institution, it wouldn't help. So I thought about some some reflection on library 2.0 in an academic setting. I'm wondering then about technological aspects. The new technology you want to implement, we want to have a new face lifting to our new library catalog, to our website. We have this fancy features we have in our services. What are the scalability of these solutions? What if this vendor actually had this, let's say, I'm charging you 50% more. I said, no, I don't want to work with you anymore. What would happen? this technology. Can I move to a new product? I don't know. What about accessibility issue? We as an academic institution, we have to make accessibility guidelines, which actually that all of our results are accessible to all people. Facebook is not accessible for many people who actually have visual effect problem. So if we have the similar interface to link to those resources, what about accessibility issues? Intellectual products and copyright concerns. When users contribute contents to our library catalog, when they have comments, when they send links, who owns this content? Is it my content as a library or the user's content? What my legal side is at institution with their guidelines or communications, what I should do with these comments or book reviews or whatever I have? What about many things that I need actually to, as a librarian, I have to practice, I have to know, to be involved in, in my workload, should I go actually every day and see what the new comments and actually be mentoring them or just keep unmoderated and make my library for everyone? If they contribute, that's the case. 